She certainly looks like a winner. Meng Wanzhou, fighting extradition to the U.S., joined a staged photo shoot on the courthouse steps Saturday evening. But Friend's efforts to adjust her ankle bracelet are a dead giveaway. Despite the smiles, she's still under house arrest, awaiting judgment on Wednesday. I've had people ask me about a victory lap. Well, you photograph for both contingencies, right? It's rather like preparing a headline in advance. You think she'd keep a lower profile ahead of a ruling that could set her free or keep her under house arrest for months to come. In that sense, the stakes are high for a case that's drawn international attention. The judge has the responsibility to either commit or to discharge. Those are the only two options that the judge has. Mong's been in detention at home for 18 months, her movements limited. Each day of the hearings, Mung swept into court with her security guards in tow. Inside the courtroom, her lawyers argued the charges she faces in the United States, fraud and violating sanctions on Iran, don't constitute a crime in Canada. Crown prosecutors, though, say her actions, allegedly lying to a bank, are an offence in both Canada and the United States. In the midst of all the legal arguments, two Canadians, Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig, remain in prison in China, where they were detained days after Meng's arrest. The Prime Minister says China's efforts to link their fate to Meng's won't influence the courts here. We will continue to follow and uphold the independence of our judicial system uh, while we advocate for the release of uh, the two Michaels who have been uh, arbitrarily detained by China. Mung's lawyer won't talk about his client's apparent victory photo shoot or her case ahead of the ruling. Only then will they know whether she'll be smiling like this for all the cameras or returning to her house arrest. Laura Lynch, CBC News, Vancouver.